Hi, I'm Paul Darling, and today what we'll look at is the safe operation of a standard Bunsen burner in a high school science classroom. The Bunsen burner is an essential part of the high school science laboratory. It was invented in the 1850s by a fellow named Robert Bunsen, who wanted to create a controlled, sootless flame for use in his science laboratory. The Bunsen burner is used for sterilization, heating, and combustion of different goods in the science laboratory. In order to use a Bunsen burner, what you need is the actual burner itself, which is this metal unit here, a hose for transporting the gas, and the gas tap. In addition, in order to ignite the Bunsen burner, you, you, you need a striker, or as we use in our science classroom, a pack of matches. What we'll start off with is the proper use of matches. In order to use your standard matches that you'll be using in this science classroom, pull one match out of the booklet, fold the booklet closed to protect the other matches, and observe the striker. In order to efficiently ignite this match, you will hold it so that you are striking in the direction of the skinny edge of the match. This is where the match is the strongest. You'll see that uh, not a lot of pressure needs to be applied to the striking area in order to ignite the match. Extinguish the match, wait for it to completely extinguish, and you may place it on the bench. Next up, we have assembling the Bunsen burner. So putting this all together, what we first need to do is take this yellow cover off of the gas tap. The reason why these gas taps have these yellow covers on them is because sometimes in a classroom a student will stick their pencil into the end of the gas tap, break it off, and it creates a huge maintenance issue to get these gas taps free of the ends of pencils. So we have a small key that we push into here, and it takes that protective cover off of the gas tap. So we make sure that our Bunsen burner is fully assembled. And you'll notice on the bottom of the Bunsen burner there's a little collar that is used to regulate the amount of air that is allowed into the Bunsen burner. Now this is an essential part of the Bunsen burner is that that air and fuel mixture can be regulated. So we'll start off with the air completely closed off on that bottom and then we'll look at this tap. This tap has what's called a 90 degree valve. So when it is, when the valve is, um, the handle of the valve is perpendicular to where the uh, gas is actually coming out, it is closed. When you turn it 90 degrees and it is in line with where that handle is coming out, that valve is open. We can hear the gas coming out of the end of the Bunsen burner. We don't want to have that on for too long before we light our match and get things going. So I'll close that for a second, pick up my pack of matches, turn on the gas for my Bunsen burner, pull out a match, ignite the match, and then ignite the Bunsen burner. Now it might be hard for you to see the flame, so what we'll do is turn the lights out for a second. Now you may be able to see that flame, or maybe if I hold a piece of white paper up behind the flame, you'll be able to see it a little bit. Because one of the features of the Bunsen burner is being able to regulate how much gas or how much the air gas mixture is, we can turn this collar and have so that more air is allowed to mix with the gas, creating a hotter flame. There are different situations in the science laboratory that you need a hotter flame or a cooler flame. Now finally, when actually using the Bunsen burner to heat a liquid, and I just have a test tube full of water here, always hold your test tube at an angle pointed away from people in case there's any sudden heating that uh, uh, creates an explosion of water or the water to spray out the end, and heat that test tube evenly. 
over the flame. Remember that the flame is going to be hottest at the tip. And when we are done with our Bunsen burner, what we'll do is turn this valve off in a 90 degree fashion, thus turning the gas off from the Bunsen burner. We will disconnect the Bunsen burner from the gas tap, and we will recover the gas tap. I'm Paul Darling, and thank you for watching this video on proper use of a Bunsen burner in the high school science classroom.